Okay. I'm going to start with uh, Armor Motors' car first. It's the Barricade. It's because he it was the last car that was seen into me, and I just they see it in right as the deadline happened. So, <clears throat> so since I already got it open, I'm gonna go ahead and look at it and go over it with everybody. Okay, he chose corrosion resistant steel, light truck, monocoque, steel, front longitudinal, McPherson strut in front, and semi trailing arm in the back. Plus one quality. It went with a 90 degree V8 aluminium block. He likes square engines. Three and a half by three and a half inches, which is a 4.4 liter. Uh, overhead cam, three valve for cylinder. Aluminium head material. Variable valve lift. Yes, I'm saying aluminium the correct, the correct way. Instead of aluminum. I used to say aluminum, but I changed. Uh... <clears throat> cast iron crank, cast iron, everything's cast iron. Uh, 10.3 to 1 compression ratio, 31 on the cam profile, 47 on the v oh, variable valve lift, okay, VVT. Uh, natural aspirated, he's got 286 foot pound of torque and 286 horsepower. Direct injection, single configuration, standard intake. Regular octane. Uh, yeah, it's fuel mixture is completely leaned out. Ignition time in 62, 6700 RPM rim li limiter and plus two on a fuel quality or, you know, the parts of that. Tubular headers, dual exhaust, high flow three way with two reverse flow mufflers. I guess because it's, I guess it's quiet. Let's see, yeah, 29.1. A uh, plus one quality on exhaust. We'll have a listen. Probably need to turn my volume up. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Okay, since we're on a screen, we'll go ahead and look at it. I must say, I it's so muscular up front. That's that's nice. It's that's called the barricade. It's like, yeah, I'll protect your daughter. Yeah, she'll be safe. Than, she'll be safe in me. I like it. These roof racks right here. I I usually see them going from one end to the other, and they just kind of like stop between the two doors here. I, you know, there's nothing wrong trying something different. I, li I like the color, too. The color, let's see what I give it. I did say I was going to award, like, the coolest colors and stuff like that. So, like, out of five points, I gave... Gave it four, like a four out of five for a cool color factor. I like the rims because it's kind of like what, what uh, I have outside on that Jeep Renegade. Looks almost identical with like the, the aluminium on the outside and the black on the inside, or gray or whatever it's called. He called this color Iris Mist, I believe it was. It's coming off of Pontiac GTO. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I like I like how it's styled and everything like that. Um, gave it a four out of. No, wait, what would I give it? A 3 out of 5 on styling? Detailing, or whatever you call it? Yes, on styling, uh, even if I gave it a 1 out of 5, I still like it. It just means I prefer others more than that one. But yeah, 3 out of 5. Um, told him I was joking, about, joking to him about something. It's like, dude, where you put the gas at? It? Because like, there's no you know, fuel cap. He, he's in a rush trying to get this car to me it's like, oh just pretend like it's what like one of those old cars where you put fill it up from like the, <laughs> the behind the license plate I say okay we'll go with that yes you have to get down low for that though <laughs> ah. better to give me a ride like this and then the not be able to get in time get it in in time 
Okay, so while I'm sitting here doing this, I'll go ahead and tell you, um, you get 73.3 safety, 66.4 reliability, 20.3 miles per gallon. The price of this vehicle is $27,925. Uh, 145 mile per hour top speed, 0 to 62 in 8.1 seconds. Stopping distance is 138 feet from 62 miles per hour. I then explain the horsepower and torque. Quarter mile time of 15.9 uh, seconds. Um, okay, Armour, you did the worst, and uh, well, I'm going to say what you did the best in. You did the best in reliability of 66.4 points, so this is the most reliable vehicle that's been sent in to me. And it did the worst in stopping distance. I heard 38 feet, that's, yeah, that's, that's a little long. One plus one quality on the body material, or body quality. Maybe we'll find out why it doesn't stop that short. <clears throat> Okay, went with all-wheel drive, advanced automatic, six gears, uh, electric LSD, with uh, 55 rear and 45 in the front. Uh, yeah, sports compound would have made it shorter, but also more expensive. So, yeah, medium compounds way chose. 225s. Let's say 225, 65, 20s. Is what he got on it. Alloy uh, rims. Solid disc, front and back, two pistons in the front, one piston in the rear. Maybe the reason why it could stop shorter is if he went all the way to like 17 inch on the front and back. Uh, <coughs> but of course, it gets more expensive after that. It may after you do that. Uh. Off-road skid tray, no cooling flaps. It's a five-seater with premium interior and basic infotainment. It's electric power steering, electronic stability control, advanced 2010s. Standard springs, gas model tube, and semi-active. And I'll explain all that. Um, so yeah, it's a really, 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 really nice ride, oh, Armor Motors. I'm happy to have you back. I'm glad you got this one in to me in time.